All right, I'm saying it now. The pink tail is in Bimmy and Jimmy or Jimmy and Jimmy. I'm here for it. Let's go. Except it's still going to be Artie Eris because it's, you know, always Artie Eris. Hi! Surprise! Y'all got to deal with me again. And Scar. Hello. This is not my fault, okay? I swear. I just, I saw typing. I, I saw a lack of a commentator and stuck my head in talking about plan Bs. And, well, here we are. So, welcome to game one. Yep, this is going to be good. For keys. This is going to be yeah, good. You've got... Good. I, dude, I, I love, I love boxes. Me and boxes, we have a we have an arrangement. I'm also a fan of the boxes. Yeah. Also, we've got a Sassel hero, so when one of these boxes inevitably coughs up a crystal sword, we don't have to worry about you know hunting down a paladin. Well, but 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 but, I mean, it's going to be a flan sword anyways. But you know, not that we ever get forge and get you know nice shiny things, right? Yeah, <laughs> forge I is mean, a myth. I mean, if this could be scrap metal, it would be scrap metal, like we all know it. So there's Calibern. That's pretty much scrap metal. I except wait, can you dart Calibern? Yeah, pretty okay. sure. I I can honestly say I've never tried. I am I am ninety percent positive that you can dart yep. Calibern. Okay. And... I mean, I would just trash can it, but you know that's 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 me. So. But yeah, we should talk about this. Uh, game one between Pyre and Garen in the... What is this? The round of eight? I believe so. Yeah, so we're, we're guaranteed top eight finish already. Impressive. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, I would say that d these two folks can very easily be put on a list of top ten active free enterprise runners. Oh yeah, very much so. Even though I imagine both of them would probably refute that, but that's neither here well, nor there. Th they can refute it all they want, but I, I know that Pyre character took a certain pancake to five games in the last tournament, so, in the finals. So, yeah, I know a few things. Oh, so, and they're off. And you know, confirm? Garen... Probably okay. Garen made out of the... Garen made it out of the group of death. I think anybody who made it into the brackets out of mm -hmm. Mac Giant group is uh, very good at the game. Hey, it's a white mage. Hey, and a boss that we really didn't want to see. Sag. That's okay. Where are we going? I mean, I know what I would do here. I'm in Evelyn immediately because uh, yeah, I Evelyn. know where the boxes are. So, even though this party doesn't really scream, hey, idiot, go to Evelyn. Um, it's a large quantity of boxes in a very small area, and you don't have to worry about hitting ogres or cats, because cats suck, and yeah. Okay, good. See, I still remember how to play this game. Yeah, you notice neither of them saved. That's, that's how good we are at this, so... Uh, can't, can't confirm through uh, vast amounts of experience. If you're out of Evelyn under 230, you've done well. Two twenty-five, you're really good. Two twenty-three, you're well. Let's let's say frame almost perfect. But so far, I haven't seen anything like completely valuable. Although, you know what? Neither of them checked their starting equipment. I'm gonna call it now. Cecil started with the black sword. It'd be pretty dope if yep. Cecil had a... Uh... Yeah. like, that's that's the entire reason you would, you know, opt for... Yep. Watery anyways with this party. Yeah, to find a black sword. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, you want a black sword on Cecil, you probably want... I don't know, archer bow and some sort of fairly nice arrow on the kid put the kid in slot one and there, there's your opening DPS for like the first few minutes of the game I'm not going to be greedy and say it like there's a samurai bow anywhere or anything because you know, greed ooh light sword light sword is nice light, 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 <laughs> light sword means uh, when we finally get to that mirror room hey look at that we are out at 224 not bad 
uh, when we get to the changing room, um, at least that won't be a complete and utter potato. <laughs> when you have that, to fight you whatever is in there. Yeah. So. Well, it looks like we're doing some shopping. What are we looking for? Well, poison arrows are kind of functional. They are, except that Porum mm -hmm. started with some. And if Garen oh, checked, he would have black known sword. that. And there's the archer bow. Yeah. Yeah, Black we're, sword, we're... archer bow, this is... Yeah, and look at Pyre setting up... <laughs> See? I swear I know how to play this game. Carrots! Dang, no kamikaze. See? Oh, he is? See? Wait, See? he bought oh, kamikazes. Oh, no, okay. care. I, I thought I was back in for 599 carrots. Oh, no. That would oh, be great. Yay. I don't think I don't think I don't think Garen's part of the carrot club, but yeah. silkwebs, cure twos, and Hermes. There's a, and Hermes yeah. sandals. There's yeah. a lot of good stuff immediately. Yep. This is this is a, this um, a pretty good Troya. Alright, there we go. I'm a little surprised that Pyre didn't keep Ed up. I know this is gonna sound bad, but I'm pretty sure I saw a dancing dagger. So, like, that's really good early game damage. Uh, I bet he cares more about the Zerk XP routing. Porum not getting the Hobbs XP is so painful. Oh, yeah. Oh, very much so. Now, I was more thinking, like, you could have hit Edward. You know, he does do that very well. Like a chicken. Do you raise the Hovercraft with only one hook objective? Eh, no. No, I, I, I think between checking and seeing you had a black sword out of the gate and a functional, like, arrow loadout, no. No, you didn't need, I, I feel like you didn't need to loot damn sin. Or, and of course, you know, you're always proven wrong when you find a heroin robe just lying around down there. But um, in this case, that was not the case. Uh, I would not launch it until it becomes, like, you know, Hey, I have a Paladin Cecil and I have a hook and a pink tail in my hand. And then, yes, maybe I should go launch it. Are we doing the Carter at least? We're not doing the Carter. I'm sad. Scar, I know some memes need to die, but some of them need to revive. Exactly, yeah, no. I'm a fan of the Carter. It's just one yeah. chest, and it's just right there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, by the way, Black Swords do one damage to those. So, uh, hey, we have these things called Thor Rages. They work really well here. Yeah, uh, do you think he's intending to not speed up Mylon with uh, leaving one zombie alive? Uh, no, I mean, because you have Ed with a Dancing Dagger, so pretty much two of those right in his face and it's probably going to go away. So. Yeah, see, this is more what I expected on Garen's side. You hide Edward, you throw the life potion on Poram, everybody gets experience. Except I think that was early? No, okay, you're fine. Yeah, it was after the third wave. Alright. The, um, you know, the point I go and put in the life potion is when I see that he raises the sword because that means he's, you know, just let it tap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, what do we get from Antlion today? Well, it's not darkness, hey, so it's, yay. It's, it's half of a light sword. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I have used that sword going down a hook route when there's a dark elf staring you down and you don't have holy damage in your inventory, okay? It is a yeah, no, I used it. sword. Yeah, I used it uh, a few times in OMG because it was yeah. all the damage. Yeah, in like absolutely two circumstances, but yes, it is actually useful. Yeah, no, don't, 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 don't worry about putting armor on Ed. He dies to a sneeze anyways, so... Ooh, nice elven bow. That will probably come in handy at some point. Yeah, as Chaplin, yeah, he's lucky to even get a weapon. 
Look, certain weapons were designed for certain characters, okay? That's why we had to give Edward a spoon. Yeah, he doesn't need this. He just needs mean wow. bosses like Evil Wall to be at mean places instead of at football defense. Yeah. Yep, on Forsay Dance and Dagger, yeah, that does count as uh, magic damage, so it does trigger the counter on the Evil Wall, so. But it's currently the best DPS in the party, it I, looks like. Yeah, you work with what you're given, so, hey. Yeah? You gotta I mean, lean on Edward, so be it. I'm I'm a fan of the Dancing Dagger. I, yeah. I've, I've been, it's been, it's it's done well by me, at least. Mm-hmm, very much so. There we go. Well, so I, I guess the best part of the news so far is that there hasn't been split XP on any of these bosses. So Polrum is getting awfully close to Berserk, which we're probably going to hit up on Ordeals, which should be our next stop. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if either of them went Baron in with this party just to see if they can, like, swing it mm. and hopefully get a character that isn't Edward into their party. Definite possibility. I think I would lean more towards Ordeals first, though, if for nothing else. I mean, if you want to be greedy, you burn the Siren on Ordeals to get Cecil some, you know, opening levels, which would make a world of difference. Then you could just route Baron in into, I don't know, Eblin. Could be a thought. Yep, by the ice claw. You never, you never know when Wang's gonna show up. Or something. And look at that. Issue. But uh, Garen going to Garen fading Fabul, and it looks That's... like he's not punished because it was just a good year from Fabul. Interesting. I mean, the the XP probably was the most valuable part that came out of that. But let's let's see what we're staring at. Oh, hello. Well, Twin Command will be active. Yeah, twin, twin, bluff twin on our deals. Yeah. It's always fun. Yeah. Question is, what's that second fight? <laughs> Why is it designed to kill us? Oh, hi there. Oh, that's just disgusting. Ooh, that is. Uh, and he used the black sword as a. Oh, he used the black sword as an item because he anticipated that mm -hmm. Eddie would go first. Mm hmm. Yep, come back later. Well, okay, fine, we're going to do it. I'd say come back later with HP, but oh, if he gets the if he does he get the fail up if he buffers it. <sighs> so here's the concern, right? You get the veil up. No, we're just gonna revive people. Um, the concern would be you would only have one character alive for whatever's at the second spot. And yeah, and at low health because it hits really hard. So the good news is the Dancing Dagger punches right through this wall that's about to go up, so. Uh, meanwhile, Black Sword, one thing it's really great against is what's currently on Pyre's screen. Yeah, Tello was not lying when he said that the uh, Dark Blade was useful against the Octonite. Mm-hmm. All right. What do we need this second fight to be? Uh, like, <laughs> officer soldier? I would, okay, look. Look. Ooh, yo. What? Um, wait, well, he, you know, he gets the swim brush right here, right? <laughs> what? Y'all should be used to me doing this, okay? Come on. <laughs> it's nothing new. You know, you, you burn a couple flags to the ground, you get a feel for the randomizer. I it's love not, some, it's it is like not a surprising what, outcome. What gets you through this? Unfortunately, you are dead. So, something people should learn as time goes on is like, yeah, when to reset. This, yeah, is, about, this is this is a reset. Yeah, when when Cecil went down. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Because like. Usually, you could get the agility set up to just swoon proc the officer and deal with the soldiers, right? Uh, you could. Honestly, you probably could have just swung at the officer immediately. 
because he is so fast with that black sword, you probably get away with it. Because even yeah, if it, because it's it's variable agility at that spot, so it's four to seven, regardless of what it rolls though. Cecil with that black sword is minimum eighteen agility, which means it should fire. Oh yeah, he's going first. It's just a matter yeah. of yeah. So yeah. before anything takes its place, so yeah. yeah. Oh, and to bring up a point that uh, Tybalt just brought up is yeah, Garen's gonna love seeing Asura here on the back attack. Uh, it looks like Pyre also has an Pyre elven has bow. the elven bow too. Yeah, makes a world of difference. I mean, you're you're still. I I didn't see. Did we go? I think we went double star veil. Yeah, it was to double take care of the healing. Yeah, you could just loop it on life one as well. That would be an option, but this works just fine. Hey, maybe we get a swag kamikaze kill on Garen's side. That would require some tight counting. Ah, uh, you know. With with doing a foul, he would need a low roll from one of. He would need pour. He would need pour him a low roll to get. I, it. I, I, maybe I look. I would at least give it a shot because it does save like fifteen seconds. So. Yeah, it saves a lot of time. And yeah. Queuing it up doesn't hurt anybody, but it's yeah. probably not firing. Yeah. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Meanwhile, Cecil's like, yay, I get a transform. Wait, I have a light sword in my inventory. Let's do it. Oh, well, there's a hook. <laughs> Where's our pink tail? Bimmy and Bimmy. <laughs> oh, Bimmy and Jimmy. I know why we're excited about it. It's just hardy heroes anyway. Uh, hey, speaking of holy weapons, neat. Somebody's about to have a bad day. surprising that we're using the dancing day yeah. yeah like this is light sword whole day and you're done which don't get me wrong usually for about 95 percent of bosses here putting the dancing dagger on cecil is the correct idea yeah but with the way the hp splits dancing dagger dark elf is always a four shot right yeah because it's 400 600 But it doesn't matter because, hey, we're through. So how long until somebody goes and uh, pets the dog? Mm. I'm more curious right now to see if Pyre does a siren up here just for some early levels on Cecil. I don't know how many we started with, whether it was one or two, but the answer is no. So, um, as far as the dog, you know what you would love to see? An ice brand for sale on the hook route. Yeah, or even, or Pyre has... Oh, Pirate has an Ice Claw, but I imagine base level Yang doesn't do the damage. No. No. Well, okay. Could, but you would need a Power Punch and some Strength Gear to make it work. Kind of like trying to kill one of the eyeballs with the Thunder Claw in the tower. Same theory. Oh, you know, they started with a Black Sword. They could uh -huh. have done the dog immediately. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, 18 the, agility. The, the that's dog the mark. Hits so hard, though. No, no, it goes. It goes off before the. It goes off before the punch. But its agility is so. The way to proc the black yeah. sword is you need it to take its action. Yeah, it takes its action. You kill the black sword. And you actually just go into it and hold a. Hold no, I've a? done this. Well, yeah. my, yeah, I've done. I've work. done this. I did this a hundred times practicing OMG. <laughs> it's like I got a black sword and like pour a them. Dream. <laughs> yeah. You just hold it. Yeah. I suppose they could still do it. You can still do it with uh, the assassin knife in his inventory. Either. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. All right, let's see what comes out of here. I mean, the nice thing is, once again, we're on vanilla, you know, traps, so guess what? We know where the stale men are, which means we can open any or all of these boxes. I, I, I like loot. I also like loot. Yeah. I usually just open the ones I touch. Sell a long sword. Thank you. And Garen also going for Dancing Dagger versus the uh, Dark Elf. Probably forgetting, probably just forgetting the Holy Weakness, both of them. Mm, it happens. <gasps> Cackles. And a Mute Dagger. We can't afford cat claws quite yet, so I, I, I don't blame Pyre for just not dropping 20 large on a pair of them, just in case Wang shows up, but... Yeah, well, at least you know they're there, and, well, there's a lot of boxes around. Ooh, strength mm -hmm. ring. So if, if, he's, if Yang's right here, you just sell some of this loot you're getting by your cat claws. I didn't notice whether we've got enough levels for exit on the kid. Well, uh, you should. There was no split XP up there. She yeah. should, she's no, she's she not should. quite there. She's at level seventeen. Okay, so or she's 18? got. I don't think she she's must quite have Zerka there. not exit then. She might have Zerka not exit. Yeah. Because exit is nineteen, right? Yeah. Yeah, as curious points. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Brand? Yes, now, now near the top of the list of things we would love to have. Yeah, I mean, Pyre has an uh, Assassin Dagger, so an Ogre Axe would uh, also do the trick. Uh, not against what we saw at uh, Hook 2. Oh, doesn't. Rubicon, right? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about Stalemate. I'm thinking about the key item checks. Yeah, the, so. the Hook Route I, is um, a terminal location. You can't get a key item from that. Try to avoid All right, so Baron in into a decision is probably what we're going to. Wow, hawking the ninja sword. I mean, hey, I appreciate buying the cat claws. Ninja hawk the ninja <laughs> sword for two cat claws. <laughs> I'm okay with what, it. But what, wow. what darts? Wow. I mean, edge. Well, nah, the edge don't edge. Hurt. It's fine. If if Garen still has Mac Giant on the mind, he, Yang's I mean, better Wang than that. So Yang's better than that better. for that. Oh, yeah, no. his power punch is just. <laughs> It's even even if you owe a heroin row, yes, please. That's money. That's cash oh, money. See, this is why you I like opening sell. these boxes <laughs> because they're all vanilla. Great. Yeah, there are there are many OMGs you see that lost somebody. <laughs> Bring getting getting their good old state mandated hook route. <laughs> mm -hmm. Insert valuable item here: heroin row. Yeah, or, uh, heroin row. Yes. Black belts even. Yeah. So this Baron is looking a lot less spooky for Pyre. I yes. wonder why. Especially with Cecil with a ton of armor now covering those two in the back row. Yeah, this this is good stuff right here. Uh, meanwhile, Edward's like, eh, he's not going to cover me. I'm going to go hide. Ed, he would have covered you. Looks like there's already a little bit of armor on that Cecil. Yeah, I saw a goon armor, goon helm, and the strength ring, That's and a shield. Good. I think one of the Aegis shields is on him too. So, oh, definitely. Yeah. So he's not taking a lot of damage, or really any damage. So, oh, I see Mr. John Burkhead in the chat looking at flags. Uh, we we have uh, included K Trap on this one, or K Miab, or whatever it is these days. I yeah, still in have black. Some. It's, it's okay, like close enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've just been calling them monster boxes. There's the pink tail. There's our Artemis arrows really? in tail form. Actually, actually, I'm going to say it's a Dragoon Spear. I mean, that's a dart, too. Oh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, no, we don't want it to be a crystal sword. That's boring. Yeah, crystal sword e easily shaves, um, how long All does a mech giant grind take? <laughs> yeah. Crystal sword, step one, put Cecil in slot one, step two. Bird. Cast Zerk, step three, question mark, step four, profit. There we go. That's how it goes, right? It's never anything good. At least it's an objective. It is. So we got one on the board. <laughs> See? <Your> awesome move, <laughs> Never <egg>. anything good. <laughs> oh, where was it? Baron in. Mm -hmm. Edge, Edge is on the giant post. Don't worry. Well, there's dupe, so he could also be in, like, Dwarf Castle, perhaps? No, he'll just be on the giant. Ah, <laughs> uh, the dupes are all Edward, I understand. Yes. <laughs> Who needs a ninja blade? Well, I mean, Edge has two hands. I mean, this ain't Final Fantasy V where you can, you know, just two-hand a weapon. Although that would be kind of... I'd, I'd two-hand a Masa. I don't need a second sword. I'll make one work. I mean, I'd rather two-hand, like, a fire sword than a Masa. No, because... you would rather put in Avenger on Edge. We've already had this discussion. And the answer is still no. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Avenger. You think the dog's gonna cough up anything good? Magma. No, that'd be boring again. <laughs> no. Try to think of something good. Twin harp would be hilarious. Yeah, harp would be nice. Yeah, because you're trying to fade, obviously, you know, the hook route, but I mean, you're still doing. Are you? Do, are you doing? Yeah, you're doing that blend. Yeah. Are so you doing I the mean, harp. Oh, yeah, it's but, already ooh. Garen's gonna have a very angry whatever soon. Heron robe already. Like that's that is That's all the terrifying. And I'm here for it. I I agree on walking it out, uh agility. Yeah. I won't give me any agility manip. Because the thing can... is, Cecil wants levels, and Cecil, sadly, does get faster with levels, so I'd like someone even faster than him. Preferably not named Edward. You can also cope a little bit and give it to Edward. And... No! Now, <laughs> go wash your mouth out. Horrible. I'll take a drink how, about that. How, how dare you do that to Edward? What, give him an Artie bow? Yes. He has two weapons. It's called a dancing dagger and a spoon. Well, what if I can't find a dancing dagger? Then go get Forge and get his Requiem Heart and do it that way. Pyre about to learn the hard way that you cannot life glitch uh, a stone proc. I mean, technically they didn't die. They did not They're die. Just a rock. They were turned to stone. Yeah. I was gonna say it's a little interesting that we're keeping Palom on the ground and not Ridia. That Dang, is exactly I was hoping, what you didn't want to see, because here we go. I was, to I was hoping that charm would <laughs> land on exact... Uh, okay. Okay, he hit himself. Nice thing. I was hoping the charm would <laughs> land on Horum so that she would get some life glitches. Yeah. All right, let's see it. What do we got? Oh, my the God. The rock! 
Uh, All right, well, uh, now we're racing. <laughs> step one, get underground. Step two, forge. Yeah. Uh, step three, abject disappointment. When it's exactly, you know, a flame sword. Wait, what if it's... Okay, what if there's wine for sale in this shop? Then it's probably infinitely better than anything else I'm going to get down there. And I'm buying all of it. All right. Sell the farm for wine. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. I, I, I like Aaron the strategy the here though. because Cecil has an uh, Aegis shield on. So just let everyone die and then revive them all so Cecil's in cover mode. Yeah, and then it take looks them out like... at your leisure. Looks like uh, Porum has a rune ring on, taking one from, yeah, getting, mm -hmm. no selling these ogres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we're seeing the, <laughs> we're seeing the problem with this. Uh, early game life pots can cause problems because sometimes you will revive mages and they will not be in critical HP <laughs> and they just get punched again and you're very sad. Looks like a manual cover was thrown, except that you have to reapply manual cover when somebody dies. Yes, you do. So I think at this point, we may just be sucking it up and being like, all right, fine, let's just get through the fight. Oh, there's no procs because the ogres are already one at this point. That makes sense. Or not. Wow. I eat my words. You have to remember, she's got an Artie Bell on. Yeah, but she's not the anchor. Cecil's base agility is 13? Yeah, 13. Level one. So... so the ogres would have to be, what, 30, 34, 35? They're awfully close one? to that. <laughs> I have no idea if that's, that's what the wiki is for. Uh, are people more intelligent than we are? Agility is 28 to 31. There you go. So, RA2. Okay, so then it was just poor timing. Yeah. because. Yeah. And Thessal's got levels, too. So, yeah. I mean, floored, they're probably still RA2. So. Someone did bring up in chat, though. Uh, that, that was a, a good chunk of life potions thrown away on that fight, though. Which can yeah. slowly begin to cause problems. So. Oh, was it already arrows from the Mad Ogres? Might have been. You see, that's an appropriate place to be rewarded with some arty arrows. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't be using them right now. There are certain things on the moon I would be saving those for, but eh. You can always you can always zerk your arrows. Well, th that that also relies on the fact that you don't accidentally hold A when you're down to one arrow. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, well, there goes my arrow. Because none yeah, of us have ever done that. Yeah. I'll just always worry that my arrows are down to one when I have a previously zerked. I just uh, assume Archer. they're always yeah. down to one. Yeah, always <laughs> assume and, and don't don't take any actions with them. Just zerk them. Yes, unless I've bought exactly 50 of something, then maybe I won't assume I only have one. But most of the time, I, I only have one. So. All right, what do we get from this one? Anything good? Package. Mm, maybe I okay. You have Masa. Do you sit through the package yes. for literally anyone except for Edge? No. I have I have they they have two of the three characters that I would consider sitting through a package for. Yeah. So unless it's Edge, I would yeah. be absolutely shocked if either of them sits through it. Yeah. Actually I'll be shocked if Pyre sits through it. Garen probably feels a little behind because of his early Baron in wipe. Uh, so he might sit through it checking for Demas. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd, li I'd like to just check here. That is luggage or a gauntlet, one of the two, because of that delay. Uh, 
Kane. No. 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 Get him uh -uh. out of here. Get no. him out of here. Get him out of here. And stay there. Thanks. I Don't get me wrong. Kane's very good for Mac G grinds, but I'm not burning two to three minutes to get him. Yeah, Sorry. especially not with potentially not needing a Mac Giant grind in hand with the Forge. Yeah. yeah. If Forge is the Dragon Tax tip ult, we're using that on Cecil. Yeah. We don't need Kane. Yeah. I'd, I'd make a joke about, you know, oh, we could throw away Edward for Sid, but <laughs> nah, that's not happening. So don't worry about that. I figured that offended exactly one person in the chat is right there. Scar, you, you you missed your you missed your call out here. You usually call this the worst uh the worst trap chest in the game. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. they're 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 well equipped for it tonight. They've got poison they, axes, they've got the guy. Yeah. Well the guy can't cover while he's sleeping, but you know. When you've got when you've got a uh, yoked Forum. Not a lot of things are uh, scary on the hook route. No. no. Wow. Bandana. You know what? I'm I'm a little upset that it's coming from the stalemen, but that's something that's nice to have. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. I've been loving how much it's just been the Porum show, and Cecil is. I mean, when you have cover Cecil, everyone's like, oh, give him a shiny stick. He doesn't need one. Like, he functions just fine as a cover bot. Especially when you got a character behind him that can do basic. Well, okay, Paul Rom's cheating, but you get the idea. Porum killed that dog fair and square. She got a nice Paul Rom has an art without cats fair. Now, this this may be just me, but I would throw a potion or a heal or something on Edward because him constantly hiding would drive me nuts. But that's just me. Um, I don't know if I'd be wasting one of my three remaining life potions glitching. <laughs> I understand. Oh, I bet he's gonna throw the other two. Would would be kind of a, but I'd would I'd like to be able to revive someone in case bad things occur here. Oh, this is great! <laughs> Somebody he's gonna have he's gonna have either one or zero life potions I, for uh, the hook out bosses. Or he's gonna have. I, one. I, I think I can speak for a lot of people when I can say that most of us probably have done hook route with no life potions. Yeah, but some sucks. of us probably have had to leave because we couldn't do the hook route without life potions. So that's a, that's a dangerous line to tread. Okay, look. You're still you're still not leaving and doing that. <laughs> you're already down here. But you could. Oh, what it was could. it harp? Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> I think if I'm playing exactly possum, I do that harp. Otherwise, oh yeah, because no. he'll never do it. Oh, there's a list of people that would never touch that harp. Yeah, but possum's the one I would be immediately thinking I need to gamble against this man. That's that's fair. That's fair. I mean, who who knows? Like, if Garen sees it, I mean, we are talking about Pyre here, so. Yeah, Pyre got maybe. second place in the last tournament. Ah, uh, maybe could happen. All right. While we got reequipping on, everyone, make sure to go follow the runners. Garen and Pyre are both fantastic. Bridia Caller taking care of uh, making sure everything isn't on fire. So far, very well. 
I might say. And uh, we didn't want to put Tybalt on comms because somehow he'd cost us 20 minutes. So he gets to do tracking. So. I'll get yelled at afterwards for saying that about Tybalt. But look, it's a unit of measurement, okay? Among other things. Oh, uh, this kind of... Well, this is... Oh, we know it's... This is actually so funny. Now we know who <laughs> really is it hooked to. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> okay, so funny enough, I would rather have seen this flip. I would 100%. rather have elements in two. No, it's, I mean, like, f f not not just funny enough. No, that's a hundred percent. Like, Ruby is the worst of the two bosses. Yeah, I I mean, Ruby can. I, the good news is, can only kill one person at a time. The bad news is, what do we have that hits elemental weakness on Ruby? Nothing. Yeah, that's this is a problem. Yeah, mute arrows would have worked. That mute knife we have would have worked. Um, yeah, like elements in, in spot two would have been way better. This is a problem. Oh, Garen's also life glitching Madogers. How many potions does he have? I'm guessing we're probably going to find out. And it's he has a, four now. It's all going to be a low number. It's more. He's got. He's gonna have four, which is more than uh, Pyre has. So he's probably gonna be fine. That's fine. So the the other issue we have with this too is that okay, so the spell power at hook two is not great. It's like actually potato. The bad part is all your damage currently is really more or less physical. Unless you're gonna sit there and try a quad bluff the kid and literally do nothing but quake and just sit there. But the issue with that is you don't have these things called life potions. Yeah, and Glare have... will outright kill anyone except for Sesame. So I'm curious to see how this second fight goes. Hopefully we save first. Uh, I would. And I, I consider myself an okay runner of this game. I would save in case this Ooh, goes off the rails. This is, this is... This is bold. Yeah. This is uh, one... Like I, like I said, I want to see how this fight goes. Because the counters aren't going to do much. But they're going to start adding up. Because most of your party has no HP. Up. Yeah, Looks Bless, like he's... Blessed the Dragoon Gear, by the oh, way. Oh, and we have Sylph? Dead. Sylph? So. No Sylph glitch? <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, 20, what is it, 25,200 and change or something here? Like, yeah, like 25,2. Yeah. Yeah, Curious brings up a point. Yeah, double slow would make this fight a little more uh, palatable. A Sylph? Um, if they were purchased, absolutely. Oh, see, we don't even have Quake. No, you so need... So this is you, Bluff you, <laughs> Virus. You need, you need a Quad Bluff Virus, then. Yeah, Quad Bluff Quake would do, like, 5 to 6k here. But Virus is... Ugh. This fight's going to take a minute. I hope y'all have a beverage, because uh, we got time. Yeah, um... Probably hide Eddie here, <laughs> and worst case scenario, no, no, the sap. <laughs> you, no, you want Ed taking a punch here. You do want him, yeah. He, you do want him to be a human. Yeah, blink. you want him to take a punch or a glare. I don't care which, but as long as it's not going on Palum. I feel like these dancing dagger throws are not worth the animation time with the animation. No, no. So, uh, Tybalt, Virus has about double the power of Ice 2, so they'll do the same amount of damage, roughly.
Kieran didn't say bye, but... Bold! Yeah. Wow. Uh, does Garen have Quake, though? His power's uh, got a few maybe. couple more levels. Yeah, and Garen also has Silk Webs, too. So, yeah, firing one of those would uh, be a pretty good idea. Yeah, so, like, you know, or and he's, he's casting slow, I cast think. Yeah. <clears throat> and he had a couple more life potions. So, like, you know, up to this point, it looked like uh, Garen was a little behind because of okay. that early, you know, the early Baron play not not panning out. Okay. But if he yeah, ooh, he can't can't do that. Yeah, no. can't do that. Once that once again, curious, curious. I hear pretty good runner, you know, but, but as as well. Uh, it's about timing. And timing it when the robe is open, why, why screw around with timing? When you can just fire a virus with zero charge time to it and just let it fly. Otherwise, yeah. this keeps occurring. So. Like, if I was going to cast a tier 2 elemental against Ruby because I didn't have virus, I'd be yeah. casting lit too, because <clears throat> I don't have to worry about the timing. Yeah. So, and oh, we you have know we do too. So we, we should be just... This is bluff four times and quick. Yeah. We do have a way to revive the entire party in that... Oh, yeah. Cast... Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. cast fire one. Yeah. While the robe is closed, it does work. No, at, at, uh, at any time. I thought it was when the robe was closed. Nope. It's just if the character slots are defeated, if there is a character defeated and a character uses fire magic. Okay. I never used it, mainly because who would cast fire ever against Ruby, but hey, the situation exists. So, uh, for context right now, folks, we are now five minutes going in to this fight on Pyre's side. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the boss you did not want to see here. Oh no, Edward, anyway. See, that's Edward's job. <laughs> that's what he needed to do. Wait, hold on. We're we're we're, we're bluff twinning now. He's doing both. He's like throwing. This okay. is great. Okay. I mean, with a robe closed. I mean, I I still have quake though. Like quack. Because here's the problem. Flare is ten. Comet is twenty. Quake is 30. Quake does a lot more when you have bluffs under your belt. Because of the natural spell power of Quake. Yeah, and it looks like the Ice 2s, so, when they hit, are doing way Oh, more yeah, damage. doing big number. Wow, look well, at that. Is he, is he quad weak to Ice when his robe is open? I did. I'd have to go read the script. I don't know. Because the virus is doing the important a lot point is less than that. We're we through, through, and we pulled out a lead on Pyre. Exactly. No, I think I think Garen's Garen had better setup going into this. Yeah. He had he managed to get Quake on Palom. He didn't use it, but he managed to get it. Yeah. And now we're gonna go forge and be disappointed. Oh boy. Yeah, I think this is I think this is forge into dwarf, honestly. Ah, uh, maybe. You uh, want you want disgusting. you want to get rid of you want to get rid of Edward. You do, you do, you do have Rydia in your party as well, so yeah. you know getting her Leviathan yeah. or Bahamut is in your better interest. So, Yeah, I actually wouldn't hate to see Pyre in this exact scenario. He's out of life potions. He need who did he just cast her? Oh, that was Cure uh, Two. Yeah, M missed an input <clears throat> because of the frame rates. And meanwhile, proving us completely wrong, are we going to do Forge first now? <laughs> Mm 
now. I am an advocate and a lot of people don't do this. If I'm going down to set up, oh, we're going, we're going back. What are we going for? Is he just going to quake still for right now? <laughs> well, so here's the thing. Already heroin means you're probably RA1 on the ghosts. Oh, you're definitely. So oh my God. You, yeah, could, gonna... you could get a mute off and then have the kid take care of the ghost with quake. So you have an ability of doing, in all reality, all these boxes. And crystal Damn armor. Him. Oh, my God. He could just clear self right now. Yeah. I love this. This Third. is great. This is like. This is exactly like the type of play you need to make when you're as good as Garen is and think you're a little behind. Yeah. So yeah, this this should be mute into setup quick. So here's the problem. Uh, oh, everyone needs to be alive. Is yes. The problem. <laughs> yeah. You need more actors for the pointer or go around, or you need to slow down to three. <clears throat> yeah. So I mean, he might get away with it. Like this quake probably fires. Yeah. And we're through. Got through all but the quakes. But definitely the mute set it is up coming out way it. too late. Yeah. Set up for next time. Pyre is out of MP, uh-oh. Yeah, he's been casting Ice. I'm seeing him cast Ice 1 with Rydia. He's he's about to... Wait, he's about to actually fire Artemis arrows? Oh my god, what? Wait, what is he... It's because he didn't save, that he can't just reset. Yeah. He'd have to do Elements again. Yeah. Yo, he got the script. script kill. He's fine. Just Cecil gets the XP, but... I imagine he prefers <laughs> that the alternative. You yeah. don't care. I was 10 minutes. 10 minutes for that fight. Yeah, that was brutal. I would put money on the fact you're going to see Pyre do some very odd things here coming up. And I think Porum gained... 10 minute ruby fight. I think Porum gained a point through. of agility from that first box of ghosts because <laughs> now she got the, quake, the meat off. Okay. It changed her relative agility. That's funny. Or Garen's menuing, which is faster the second time. I don't know. Very well could have been. He did he did almost cast slow on them before realizing that he wanted you. All right, let's see what Pyre does. Forge? <laughs> Come on, Forge the Dwarf. Okay, it's an objective, look, look. And then it could it's be a Forge and Sirens, okay? Like, oh, that yeah. reality still sirens. exists. You know you know what? You know huh. what? If it's huh. if there's Sirens in the shop, I'm still doing huh. Dwarf first, because I don't want Eddie anymore. That's fair. I like, mean, we're I'd... Oh, oh, the pan in the back of Sylph is always there. That's huge. One, because it's an objective. Two, it means you're only coming in Sylph once. That's, that is, that's like Christmas. That's very nice. Yeah. All right, what and is he it? Didn't, he didn't, oh, oh it's the, god. oh my god. It is the what's, stick. What's, what's grind? The hmm. stick. All right, well. The stick. Oh, and power like shirts apples or less. apples and a power shirt. Neat. Yeah. yeah. Sell the we... sell sell Edward. Can you sell Edward? Not yet. Maybe, maybe somebody will figure that out on their fork, but yeah. I don't think they're going to do that on me. You're not, you're not you're not going to afford a second one. Unless no, you're not going to afford a second one. Oh, he wants yeah. he wants an apple. Why would they, no? We don't, no, you don't want an apple. You buy another power shirt. <laughs> He probably knows he didn't have enough money for another power shirt. But yeah. Apple? 
I mean, I, I, I understand that, you know, a lot of people like to, you know, do reflecty type stuff in the supply set. You have a light bringer. Go find a second person you can berserk and just turn them both loose. No, the apple's for Porum, so you can get her a 1200 HP. Okay, that, no. We are nowhere close to 1200 strength. It's a nice thought. Though. It's not 1200 strength, it's, it's, it's Quake, or it's, it's Berserk with whatever level Porum has when you get go mode. <laughs> It's it's it is uh, trying to opt for zero grind whatsoever. That's what it's doing. <laughs> the other good part about what uh, Garen is doing right now, when Garen goes and forges, oh, we're going to be able to afford anything we want there. He's going to have all the stuff to sell. Yeah. Dragoon spear, yeah, it's gone. Shoutouts to Pyre being broke, because I guarantee you that would have been a face palm if you accidentally buy four Soma drops. I definitely yeah, have done, I, I have done that. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> Look, so, sometimes your finger just slips as like, oh, well, I didn't need this, but thank you. I am really glad this Sylph is paying out. It's paying dividends for uh, Oh yeah. Garen. Oh, ribbon. and a ribbon, no less. Get rid of all the arrows, man. You don't need arrows anymore. Uh, the, the, the clean your inventory. <laughs> well, you knew that album for before. Hmm? Now, throwing away three items. No, 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 no. You gotta throw away eight. There were, there were arrows and other things in there that needed to go. Oh, and a defense sword? Uh, yeah, that's I guess we have a light sword. Too. That's okay. oh, but the yeah, it's money. Uh huh. Oh, and the light sword can get hawked. Yeah, look at that. Like five five k. <laughs> Every everyone's gonna have a power <laughs> power shirt. I'm a mage. I don't care. You're wearing it. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any sword robes, but what we do have his power shirts. <laughs> yep. All right, orbs are gone. Would we love Edge to waltz out of here? Absolutely. That demist is really nice. That means we're not looking anymore. Well, that Dude ain't Orum it. Said. And that ain't it either. No. I think I no think I bomb. saw I saw one good summon there, and we're probably past the point of it being useful. Was it Jin? No. Oh. Okay. It was Cockatrice. You, I'm going to have to go dig up that seed for you to play. I'm not playing Hand Axe yet. Come on! It's a character builder. It's it's it's, a, it's, it's the one-time ladder-rolled lit three. <laughs> All right. That that is every box in, and oh, I'll, I'll take a protector. Yeah, protector is really nice. Yeah, shame it doesn't protect against uh, instant death like it does in FF one, but I'll take elemental resistances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Sadly, in another universe, you would cast warp immediately after this. Hey, Tyball, what level do you learn warp at? I'm just waiting for chat to update. He'll he'll say it's it. No, is it 28? It's 29. It's 29. <laughs> I, I can't remember the last time I saw the warp glitch active. Okay, it's been a minute. Listen, the Luke is a scary place, and we want to send the runners there. Yeah. Now, it's also okay. like you're so, not guaranteed a black mage and minimus I'm... variability. <sighs> I'm okay, but I'm not okay with this on Garen's side. Do the words? So, uh, so hold on. So hear me out here. I do self, right? Oh, I turn the in pan. the pan. I have the pan. I do the pan bunk. I go do the forge. I get my stick. I see the shop. I go up. I turn in the pan. 
if the pan is like a Luka key or a tower key, I'm a genius because I'm going back downstairs anyways. So then I can come out, get some levels and everything. And like if there's a possibility where you could take a swing at the queen spot, I would rather have the extra five to seven levels from doing the other stuff first before coming down here. That way I only have to make one trip down here. But that's me. You know, Tallgrant brought up a, a point in chat. Where do you learn Swarp at level 12? Mm -hmm. I, d I just assume she always has Swarp. So. Yeah, like you're gonna need you're gonna need something at this queen spot that I mean you have a silk whip, so that helps. Uh you're gonna need if something I'm, I'm him, thinking of like the gear we have access to right now and what you want to see there. I wanna see Paled and I've got Dragoon armor. I don't yeah, wanna see that. Baron got Baron Guards. Oh yeah, Aegis Shield. Uh, I don't yeah. know if Baron has one. Also yeah. another twin cast from Pyre. Which means he has Quake. Which means no, no he, it's wait. Oh, he toad. has quick. Oh yeah, toad. No, 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 no. Sorry, Pyre was cast oh, doing Pyre's twin side. casts when he has quake. Oh okay. Oh, well, I mean, hey, twins are a nice thing. You know? right. It's fun. Yeah. Now, after this fight, I'm definitely looking at the one on the left because that's going to answer what's at the top of tower. If it's the gauntlet, you're running away from this one. Welcome, RPG Limit Break viewers. Hey! This is uh, game one of Garen versus Pyre in the round of eight of Highway to the Zima Zone 6. Boy, has it been eventful, let us tell you. <laughs> we we had a we had a uh, a show of leg on the hook route without any great way of killing it, and that, that took up so much of our time. And it was highly entertaining. Also that doesn't count because it was an onslaught stone, so <laughs> That kind of value. Oh, you know, you're feeling you're feeling pretty. I, I yeah. bet Garen feels as if he is yeah. exactly yeah. in the driver's seat. Yeah. Because he is. Yeah, you find that you're 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 pretty well off. So now now, <laughs> here's the scary part. And for me, like coming down here, do you do dwarf now at this point? I don't think you do. <laughs> I also Garen's would have at least mode. checked which one was on the left there, because if it's Water Hag, you can do that. Garen's in Goma. He doesn't need to do anything else. Is he? Yeah, because he's got Forge, he's got the Pan, forge, pan and giant. two on the moon. A hey, Cockatrice that cast yeah. spotted. Yeah. Big fan of the Cockatrice spell. It's so much more accurate than Stone. And if the enemies are sized and not doing nothing, first it's, time cast it. It's go, why would you? I, I can give you one exact reason, and that's objective number three. Yeah, skipping, there, there are, skipping the giants okay. is, a, is a great idea, especially yeah. with uh, I, Lightbringer I, in hand. Yeah, I see people, like, funny enough, I will see people go do a grind, like go Mac G it, and even though the giant's an objective, they will leave. <laughs> It's like, no, I'm going to go do my other objectives first and maybe find something I can do to, like, fade the giant. So I wouldn't yeah. be surprised to see the giant done last here. Oh, yeah, 100%. You've got Lightbringer well, in you hand. Don't, well, you don't have a pass, though. Yeah, well, I don't, so... I don't, I don't care. I'm not doing the giant. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait a minute. Well, I mean, if uh, you look at the moon objectives, and it's like, okay, well... Crystal Sword? Uh, uh, 
Uh, there it is, Water Hag. Um, yeah. A little bit of hold A, a little bit of hope. I mean, okay. if this how, is, how, if this is exactly the get... Baron key... I was, or the Tower good. key. Or the Tower key, yeah. Yeah, this I is guess one of... really weird. Yeah. Watch, watch it be the Magma key, and it's useless. It's not. No, 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 that's not... Magma key is not useless. It's closer to ten key items. It is closer to ten key items, but yeah. you don't you don't need a grind. You have yeah. Lightbringer. Yeah, see there oh, there's the, the magma, magma key. <laughs> Which puts Garen at eight. Eight is not ten. I don't need to be able to do math to confirm that. And that was not a tower keep, so yeah, not a tower key, so the giant is still on Garen's plate. But we've got yeah. one more. He's got one more key item check to do if he, unless he just, you know, sucks it up and takes a lightbringer through the giant. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame him for that. You know, life potions, life potions, no. Where are the life potions? Probably Agar. Wouldn't surprise me. Hook route is the one place you're never gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fitting. I mean, you might as well launch a whale and check Mesidia while you're here, so. Yeah. You know what the sad part about this is? There's actually two sad parts to this right now. Uh, one. If you wanted to run Zerkers, you ain't got it. You could run Power Couple. No, this is probably, like, if we hit 10, this is going to be, like, Reflecting Mage. I mean, we're at 9 right now. We need to find one more. Or, if Edge is on the dais. If, uh, that would be best case scenario. Okay, so you give him a Masa. Yeah, that's that's what you want. The reality is our or hear me out. Wang. Yeah, sling him off the ribbon room, uh, then do your crystal sword altar, then I mean you you, you bought the cat claws already, so like either or is uh, acceptable here, so Charm and White Arrows. Still plays wait. One of one of the Zerkers is Poro. That, uh, would you stop? <laughs> no. And they're not here. Exits are here, annoyingly enough. You always find exits after you need them. Well, I mean, who's checking Mesidia before you launch the whale? Like, that's that's kind of a rarity. So, hey, look at Tyre doing something that pretty sure <laughs> is like, hmm. Ow. Oh. Okay, so for this to be close, Pyre needs to do lower Babel, and one of the eyeballs needs to hit. Or you do the eyeball, and it hits. Or Garen does the giant first, and Pyre goes to Crystal Altar first, and Crystal Altar is Baron Key. But it I looks like Garen's think, going I to Crystal Altar first. I don't think you make up first. the time difference, though. Like, it self needs to be off the table, and it's got to be quick. Oh, right. So, he hasn't done all of Sylph. He yeah, just did the one. to get the pan. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, eyeball and hit something. Like, eyeballs in a tower key would be fantastic. All right. Is it Wang? Honestly, any of the melee capable characters not named Sid would be a fine addition to this party. That is, that is not that, a melee capable character. Dragon Whip only works for <laughs> eggs. That didn't work.
I like it. Going for a one on one. I, I, I like yeah. it. We, you're, you're, I, yeah, we still want. You are still, trying you, to lose yeah. the giant. So I'm okay with this. Yeah, this is this is good. You yeah. say no giants, and it and and the hope and you know, and if you're doing mages, you kind of want, you know, to squeeze as much XP as you can. Yeah, and if it happens to be a tenth key item, well, even if it's dead, you're still like yay. Yeah, tenth key item. This is a yeah. this is and a this it, is a very nice play. So, like, you look at the list of items, like a baron key, good. Tower key, good. Spoon, functionally useful. Pass, very acceptable. Like, there's a lot of things that could hit here that you would not have a problem with seeing. An Avenger. Mm, sure, why not? Yeah, it's it's a little less valuable when you only have one person desiring Zerk. Stardust Rod. That'll actually make Radia almost a Black Mage. Oh, no, it's going to Palom. No one doesn't need to go with Palom. Once Palom's got levels, he doesn't need it. I've seen him roll like nine zero 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 on Doomsday. Which Explorer. is fine. When Rydia's rolling five, give her the Stardust Rod so at least she can try. I appreciate the faith you're putting in Rydia. Oh, we're doing the eyeball. We gotta be. Yeah, because we didn't set up for Mac. Well, so here's the thing. Like, at nine, if the eyeball hits... The giant's half a million. If it doesn't, you feel pretty bad about it afterwards, but, you know, hey. Unless it's split XP. Ooh. With this party, what would you not want to see? You know what would actually be hilarious? Dolls. See, yeah, dolls at 65k. Because you don't have the damage for dolls. Well, one not matter, just cast Toad. You turn the back ones into Toads. Yeah, Kainaza would just be devastating. That 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 is where you leave and you go set up a grind. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know Kainazo at that spot, uh, 65,000 HP and the wave that comes out does anywhere from 4 to 6% of its current HP total. Yeah. Which, if you do the math, That's it means you're dead. It also has 89 agility, which means it's going before you are. So. Yeah. Uh, well, it's going to go and somebody's <laughs> turn's going to fire and you just immediately throw your Thor, Thor rage. rage and you pray to God it hits. Because if it doesn't, you're dead. You know what would be really anticlimactic here? If this was a crystal sword. It can't be. Oh, yeah. Neither, neither of these can be on T Pro. That's right. With the change, yeah. Well, you know, I'm not like sad that. about seeing that item, though. At that god at that point? I mean, do you just, <laughs> it's too late now, but do you just leave and go do the Crystal Sword Altar now? And let the giant be your ring? Oh, boring. Dang. Where, where, why is there no free bosses not on? Like, this would make this way more fun. Well, the no free bosses is not on because the runners vetoed that option because they did not want to play with it. Probably for reasons exactly like this showing up. <laughs> Okay. Well, the good news, he goes away. Bad news, Bad news is two of the characters that you want to get XP are both dead. So, hmm. I think we're doing boxes. <sighs> I'm trying to think. I mean, you have a Lightbringer. Yeah, and look, probably, fire's going probably, for it. He's doing lower battle. Yeah. Like this is this is your shortcut. And it has to it needs to be the tower key. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten the tower key. 
out of at this least once. Set from the oh, on this flag set, I don't know. Quite but a like, few. But like when I was doing, but I've I've definitely got them here. They're, they're, yeah. It exists. It happens. Yeah. It happens a lot. It happens yeah. memorably frequently. Oh, hey, there's that ice cream. That would have been used half thirty minutes ago. ago. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> All right, who's here? Oh, also not that nice. That is disgusting. All right. So in order for this to work, uh, Polrom needs to live here. There it is, Tarki. Fires in go mode. There you go. See? You just gotta ask for it. And if Tower Key turns up Baron Key, he doesn't have to do the giant. Yeah. His XP is still a problem, but that's something else. That is not what you wanted to see. Yeah, the immediate targeting. Yeah, um, now we're in Dan now you play a 50-50 game and you better be right. So Ed's turn should pop but somebody's dead, and if it's Edward, it's a reset. Or we're just going to reset right now because we have no faith in Edward at all. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. That's, I mean, I wouldn't have faith in Edward either, so. And, you know, hey, just cast, you know, size and Piggy on things and prevent this whole thing, and we're great, so. But, yeah, anyways, getting back to my point, uh, so Garen's going to be doing boxes on the way down. Um, with a Lightbringer? Just do the behemoths. I mean, well, I was going to say, honestly, at that point, <sighs> you can't really run cover strats because the idea is you really want to berserk Cecil to turn him loose. You should be able to kill behemoth in three swings, which means people need to have HP to survive the counters. Um... Yeah. Yeah, do the behemoths, do... I mean, you're probably not doing Bartles and James. Uh, everything else is up for grabs. And I'm pretty sure you're still holding on your sirens, so you can always get tricked with those, too. Also, Penguinator, knowing that you don't want to do the gauntlet. Fun. I mean, at this point, you're in go mode. You're not touching it. You're just looking yeah. for a different out here. It would have to be uh, Baron Key or like Rat Tail on the Baron Key, because then that puts you at 10. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of time, though. Like, Baron is a couple minutes because of the cutscenes and everything, and you'd rather not. You're not fine. It's there Luca, is no way. Where there could be the Baron Key. Yeah, <laughs> it is the Baron. <laughs> You're still not looking. <laughs> this is true. I am not walking down there and taking a minute of my life. I guess on the bright side, at least you know it's not the gauntlet down in Luca. That is true. Yeah, that's the one bright I mean, spot of it all. It's more you know the gauntlet isn't at the Crystal Sword Altar, well, which is too. one of the most annoying places for it. Yeah, it's got the best fight in the game. <gasps> hey, there's Yang. We're taking him. Edward, get out of my party. He's going to be a yeah. more or less like permanent slingshot. Edward and goes and away. Un and, un and unless Crystal Sword is a spoon, uh, yeah. he's going yeah. to do more damage. Bye, Ed. Been nice knowing you. Thanks, thanks for participating. See? And we're going to steal his equipment for good measure. <laughs> no, nah, left the equipment And behind. then throw it away. <laughs> oh, take the equipment and throw it away. <laughs> the, that is some excellent BM from Garen. Eddie knows what he did. Serves him right. <laughs> the one thing we haven't seen... And not that it really matters, but it kind of matters. Um, 
when we're done with our leveling and everything here, Cecil's probably going to be in the neighborhood of, like, 33 agility. We don't exactly have, like, a Dream Sword or a Dwarf Axe for him. No, what we do have so. is plus 15 agility from the Lightbringer, 50 agility, anchor, smile. Is absolutely atrocious, but it's, yeah. You can do Nuke Nuke Reflect with a 50 agility anchor, it's fine. <sighs> Listen, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I think you're shorting yourself on your talent there, sir. By a no, little, it's, a no, it's No, it's that easy. It's that easy. Yeah. I'm not it that is also game. sort of insulting when you think about it that, hey, I have this shiny Lightbringer, and yet your best way to the Z fight is still Nuke Nuke White. <laughs> yeah, because you need a second Zerker. <laughs> you need a. I mean, you have one or in Yang, Wang, but. Uh, you know. I mean, hybrid. Hybrid's a little safer. I, you could do you could do hybrid. I mean, Garen has to feel like he's ahead. There's no like way that he doesn't. early you know what? in the pan, and like you have to feel like you've at least got a lead. Ouch. And yeah, um. Oh, Pyre's uh, party's getting XP off of this. Uh -huh. That definitely will solve one and a half year behemoths. Forty five thirty seven, that's not even preserved. Slightly terrifying. Nineteen levels. Let's go. See, he's getting there. Oh, the <laughs> second boss of me. Appreciated. I mean, throw that with the other one. I think you. Use. I think you, in theory, could get a cat claw from a LSD monster box. And yeah, they can give you a T4 item on T Pro. Uh -huh. Isn't that insulting? Uh -huh. Yep. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong box, Karen. The one below it is the one you want. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Ooh. Important information, folks. To know this exactly. This is double red D. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going, if you're going for big XP, and yeah, Cecil's got goon gear on, like, just don't oh, yeah, leave one wait. Alone. Just, yeah, don't so leave one just... alone by himself. They, so they double punch until mm -hmm. there's one of them. Okay. Yeah, and then they heat ray. Yeah, the other box is the problem because the blue one doesn't care. It's just going to do breath on you and will wipe out four of those five party members. So if you're going if you're going to go big XP, this is the box you want to take. Uh, meanwhile, Pyre is playing the 50-50 game. So here we go. Someone's getting Cecil deleted. First, and he's uh maybe not getting deleted. No, somebody's getting deleted. It just happened to be the right character. <laughs> we win these. 50-50, 100% of the time. <laughs> you know how many characters stand up to that first spell? Honestly, exactly one. And it's usually Yang. Yeah. Iridia didn't get that XP, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, this, honestly, this may just be up. Oh, there's your Avenger. This may just be turning into a full-on hybrid. Yeah. Just because of how much XP Iridia needs. It's like, okay, you know what? If she's dead, eh, whatever. I, I still have a way through Z. It's just not going to involve her. So. Yeah, she might throw, like, what? A lift 3 mate? Honestly, I'd put her on potion duty. Yeah, potion duty or Ashura if you have it. You yeah. know, so you can get gray face nine times in a row. Yeah. That never happened. I think it's happened on Breeze Street, actually. I've actually had it happen to one of my races before. Oh, <laughs> uh, Pyre saying no to No! Yay. Do we have faith in the spoon showing up? I think he has faith in his mages. Hey, I like Curious idea. Go shopping. 
sell the farm and just buy every apple in existence. Yeah, apple yeah. percent. I mean, look, we have two perfectly good mosses we can sell now, okay? <laughs> That's gotta be worth at least two apples. <laughs> All right. So this, it's, it's slowly beginning to close up here on this lead that Garen has, so. But they're both stuck in nine key items. Yeah, stuck at nine. I wait. They can just do crystal do sword crystal for their for tenth ten. key mm -hmm. item. Mm -hmm. The pro, the issue with that is then you're basically walking in reverse opening boxes. Yeah, and you I mean, think about you think about where you are on the LST. Well, what do you have? You have that behemoth that Garen just fought, and then you have the Valkyrie uh, warlocks on seven other than that you're having to go walk up to get the rest of the boxes or you go to ribbon also this fight not scary actually well okay it's a little scary once mindy goes away because boy does that mean cindy can punch Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, until then, now we're fine. Oh, no, Sandy. And one more swing and we're through the fight. So yeah, look, look, awesome. at, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Where we're like... So the one thing is, Pyre probably is now leaning on full reflect. So he's gonna have to go to a million XP for Radia. Garen could very well make this party work right now. Yeah, Garen just got Cure 4 on... Yeah. Or that you can and go into this Romus fight right oh, now. That's, that's Vanilla funny. Crystal Sword from the Crystal Altar when you have the Lightbringer yeah. in hand. That's pretty good. Yeah, cool. that's funny. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, I I like the idea. Go sell the farm, go buy apples, get Pull Rom up to like 2,000 plus HP, and go. And you still have a Siren. You Honestly, if you were scared. So, lesson to be learned, folks. Do you know where you burn the Siren? This floor right here. That stretch. That will pull a pair of King Ryu's. I mean, you also could burn it literally anywhere that you're currently walking to. That would work as well, but... You know what that crystal sword translates into? Like 1.5 apples. True? Mm. And I'm pretty sure selling a crystal sword is widely accepted by a large part of the community as a good thing. Yeah, passing. Well, Garen has to pass. Mm. They both, th they both do. They should. Except that we just got a... Pirate, just got pirate a, did the eyeball, right? Did, did Pirate do the eyeball? I don't, I know. don't know. The pass is not lit up on his tracker. Where's he our might, tracker? He might oh, have... Oh, never mind. I, He's banned. Oh, okay. Well, we don't know. He's not banned. He's what? Is this message out. deleted? He's banned. He's timed out. Oh, well. I'll just say he got banned again. Look, he got banned on RPG Limit Break. Right? Might as well ban him here, too. Yeah, but but we like Tibble, so we gotta ban him. Yeah, he's alright. 
Okay, we're not going to buy apples. We're just taking this and going. I love it. I mean, hey, you've got you've got good enough. You've got, yeah, the sword needs to come off. Forty six. <laughs> put anything else on, please. <laughs> put on the put on the other sword. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Good. Call this out right now. Good on Garen. You know what's the problem with his inventory right now? It's full. He would not be able to flip to the Avenger if he did not catch this right now. Yep. Because there would be nowhere for the sword to drop in his inventory. So good on him for catching that. Otherwise, and good on yeah. honestly, good on him for taking the uh, shield off now instead yeah. of trying to like find a spot for it in your inventory when yep. you're swapping weapons. Yep. I think that's what Pyre's. I think Pyre's. Where, where are we? Yeah, we're hawking everything. Yes, hawk yep. it all. Oh my Sell god. Sell it all. You don't need it. You don't need it anymore. Sell Thor Ages even. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of apples. That is literally a ten. That's a thousand HP on somebody. All uh, it should go. It should go on Forum. It should all go on. Forum. Yes. Forum has like innate dodge abilities, so <laughs> you can Forum enough HP, she won't die. So, oh god, we're gonna have dueling Z fights. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, Except this is gonna one, be good. One of them has Wang though. Yeah, one of them is one of them is Yang, and one of them has. I guess Edward. Yeah. Yeah, see, there it goes. 2021, 22. Yeah, I'd. I'd, I'd... Wait, did we just give Evan one, Apple? Give I'm one to Edward. <laughs> I am offended by this. I think he knew. He th I think I think Pyre knew the commentators would be offended by that. Oh, it for that reason, we exactly. Fed the pardon Apple. I hope he eats the count. I mean, he always eats the counter meat regardless, so it's not a big deal. Well, yeah, that's why you put the star veil on him. Yes, yeah. because he's gonna eat the counter nuke. Yeah. So yeah, here we go. Z fight. Uh, something, something. Six hundred plus sprites and uh, things and butts and hats and yeah. I just want to know if it's one of the new ones, right? Because they, oh, okay. they keep adding one, them in the pool, but there isn't, like, a public list of what's in that pool. So unless I've seen one before, I have to assume that it was brand new, added in the update. Okay. Oh. I think I've seen this one. I have seen this one. Sudokus. That, that, that is too much thinking on stream. Yeah. Not enough math, though. Just yeah. too much thinking. Um, this is gonna be unnerved. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, we're nerfing this, right? <laughs> okay, um, this, is, this is gonna be nerfed. Okay, <laughs> oh, no, it's not. No, it's oh. not. <laughs> oh, no, I would say that was too many actions. You can't get cute with that. Like, that silkweb's gotta come out. Silkweb's gotta happen. Oh boy. All right. Now we're doing it on the other side. <laughs> Light brain. No, he had a crystal sword on, which. Yeah, crystal was close enough. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, negligent damage swing. Otherwise, you'd have to, like, get cute with flipping. Yeah, to going, the going. And then flipping to the Avenger. Yeah, going in here with the quote unquote weaker weapon. Because a crystal sword is still, it's still the second best weapon in the code. Yeah. Well, I guess there's some forges that are between crystal sword and lightbringer, but like, as far as Sassel is concerned, his best weapons are lightbringer, crystal sword. So, Sassel with his, oh no, he's got his second best weapon, which is the best one in vanilla. Yeah, she's dead. She ain't walking that off. Sorry. She also doesn't need to. He's going just flat out. Um... Yeah, Cecil. This is the Cecil show. So. 
like everybody else at this point, like maybe veil up the kid and maybe try add a lit three or something in. But other than that, like this this will be a two character show here in about forty five seconds. Yeah. So wait for the shake and flip. Oh, Adwarl has something equipped because Berserk was just cast on him. Ah, uh, yeah, flip to Artie Bow, Artie Arrow. All right. 83, 85. Ugh. God, that sword is broken. It Oof. is intended to be. Oof. Well, Ed, been good knowing you. Take a seat. Yeah, Later, Ed, Bard. you did about 1,000 damage, which is 1,000 damage more than you usually deal. Good job. So yeah, this is actually, I mean, Cecil can, can carry this, you know, kind of on his own. Um, one nice thing for Garen is that Avenger. Yeah, the Avenger. Uh... Wait, did, hold on, did Pyre get the Avenger? No, it's from a box. Yeah, I know. I don't know if Pyre. Um, right? We're gonna find out. No, he did not. Okay. He sold the farm so yeah, for... he's got to manually reserve Cecil every time. Versus Garen's side, he's just gonna keep going. Oh, and he doesn't have Cure Four either, so the timing yeah. on his healing might be a little sketch. Yeah, I mean, two person Cure Three though is. Yeah, the healing is good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll be all right. Yeah, the healing is enough. The uh, <laughs> delay is what I. But what I personally will be worried about because I haven't done exactly this setup before. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe Pyre has done this setup. Maybe he knows what he's. He probably knows what he's doing. Can we just call? Can we just like now? Can we ask for a tie? No, because they probably. Why, why not? Then I have to retime it. Oh, are you the admin on duty? I think so. Oh man, I don't want to create more work for you. I don't know. I'd ask somebody else. Um, I'd probably <laughs> ask. I'd probably ask somebody else because I don't know. Um, Look, just, just I'm not lie. that good tell at. I'm not that good at math. Don't tell them you're bad at frames. They'll understand. Also, why are these Fire 3s doing as much as for these Nukewood? Hmm? Does she have the Stardust Rod, perhaps? Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 7,500. Mm. Like, this is... Yeah, look at that. There's Medio, and it looks like it went a I... little off the rails for Garen. You know, it's not the power couple we expect, but it works. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is great. This was like GG some good some good memory from Pyre. He will be joining us for an interview at some point in the near future. Wow. That was That was fantastic. That was that was like back and you know, forth and back, I, I, it was back and forth. It was, that I, was interesting. I've been around for a lot of these, and I don't think I've seen one quite like that, where it's like, oh, they've got the lead, and then it's like, oh, we're playing catch-up, and then, eh, 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 and speak of the devil. Hey, wow. GG. That was an event. That's, that's okay. Pyre, Pyre will chime in here soon. Because I only have one question for Pyre. Okay, maybe Hello? Pyre won't. There we go. Uh, now aha. I can hear you. There you are. That was a race. You're going to want to watch this one back. <laughs> yeah. That was fantastic. <laughs> was okay. A... Well, I, I lied. I have two questions for you. Uh, the yep. first one might be more important. Why did you feed Edward an apple? Uh, I don't know. He deserved an apple. He stayed around the whole time. Uh... Plus, I was hoping he could live a, a, nerf, or a nerf Big Bang. Uh, with just a little over 900 HP if needed. Um, just get a better chance in case I needed to do something back up since Forum didn't have Cure 4. That was yeah. just 
just a safety thing. And Porum didn't need any more HP, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, we, we, we talked about that, uh, myself and Scar. It's like, yeah, just go sell the farm, go buy enough apples, and and that's exactly what ended up getting it for you. Yeah, um, I, I decided to take one more trap chest just to try to get a little more money, because mm -hmm. I needed a lot of apples to get Porum up to where I'd be safe with Cure Threes without a bunch of nerfs. Yeah. Uh, second question. <laughs> so, uh, Ruby at Hook 2. That was a 10 minute potion. fight for you. Yeah. What, you had one life. When you potion. were done, what, what was your first thought through your head on that fight? I was like, oh, hey, uh, well, I can't really say here what I said, but uh, <laughs> I was just happy I made it back because I knew I was running low on life potions and I never found any more. So he took mm. my last life potion. potion. So, yeah. But no, I was, yeah. I mean, you played exactly how we expected you to when, you know, it's like, okay, you do this and you're like, oh boy, uh, I better do something off the wall now. And, uh, yeah, no, it, it played out very well, you know, pulling that tower key out of an eyeball is, uh, what saved you. Um, Garen ended up doing Sylph very early and got rewarded with the pan. And I, I don't know what your next check would have been post tower, but uh, yeah, that was gonna put you between a rock and a rock. Yeah, so. I think my next spot after that is I was gonna go do the back of silks, at least the fire things, because I had new bells. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. that was my next stop if I didn't have the tower key or something else anyway. Yeah. No, other than that, though, very well played. Like, that's that's. A light bringer of all things. Yeah, it's, I think it's been years since I was able to <laughs> use one. Uh, the, we appreciated the wyvern author where it's like, hey, here's a crystal sword. And you're like, eh, whatever. Money. <laughs> exactly. Lots of money. 1.5 apples. Neat. Yep. <laughs> no, but Scar, what, it was, what do you, what, what do you got? Why didn't you take Yang? Ah, uh, because I didn't have enough to really get him anywhere useful, I don't think, maybe. Um, plus, yeah, I didn't we, think I'd really keep him alive. Yeah, we, we noticed early on uh, something you and Garen did differently. Um, <laughs> Garen had no faith in Edge ever showing up, so ended up hawking the ninja sword early on the hook route to buy two cat claws. Uh, he bought two clack was yeah Yang available? just just in case yeah, Yang oh, showed up, which hey he showed yeah, up. Yang was on the giant yeah well yeah he was on the giant but uh, like if he sold him on the hook route he must really be going yeah. for him or something yeah uh, i think with how much like sort of a, a prevailing a new prevailing sentiment is oh baron key was at a penis uh with the, the prevailing sentiment is that at is that ten thousand is way too cheap for the cat claw, and that you probably should buy them every time at that price, just because yeah. Yang gets so much out of them, and it's yeah. less money than an ice brand. Which... Yeah, I think I would agree with that. <laughs> that two of them are way too powerful for him, or too cheap for anybody. Mm -hmm. Which we, we weren't lost on the fact that when one of the eyeballs in the tower gave you a nice brand, it's like, ah, what been useful half an hour ago? Yeah, it's like, thanks. Yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, game. But hey, you have a 1-0 lead going into game two. I'd ask what you're going to do differently in the next race, but... I mean... There wasn't really a lot. Like you do, you worked with the tools you were given. Unfortunately, you didn't have a lot of tools for that Rubicon, and still made it work and got through this. So, do you change anything for game two? Um, oh, maybe stop at a town if I'm flying by. If I'm out of like potions, probably or very nearly, because yeah. that would have probably helped speed it up our ruby up a little bit. Because I didn't have to want to have to have poor and plan still in the life of people, so she didn't get hit. Because mm -hmm. if she got hit w twice uh, early, it was over. So, yeah, I got super lucky with the ruby fight. That's fair. When is game two, by the way? 
tomorrow at 8 or 9 Eastern or something like that. Nice. So we don't have to wait very long. Nope. Well, Car, you got anything else for Pyre? No, just GG. Very well run. It was a very good race. Uh, GG, thanks for having me. And yeah, I do look forward to running it back because it looks like we were pretty close. Yeah, go Z, go so. rewatch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it was it was definitely worth coming in for this one. So th thank you. Thank you for that. Yep, try my best. All right, you guys have a good <laughs> night. Thanks, Pyre. Yep, bye. That's, that's also, the winner. That's, that's that was the winner of Pyre, 1-0. Also, while we were speaking, while we were yes. interviewing Pyre, yes. Garen finished, and he did hey. mostly fire. He, it was fire three, fire three, hybrid strats. I mean, look. Brilliant. Sometimes. Absolutely brilliant. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was not, I, I wasn't able to think of any questions for Pyre because I was enthralled by the, by the fire threes. <laughs> I was like, wow, we're really doing this. We've got this. He's like, and Garen's going to be joining us for an interview, so I'm going to, so we're going to, we're going to be able to, you know, look at it, look into his thought process there. Ah, uh, wow. That was fun. Yeah, that was a close race. It was a yeah. good match. I'm, I'm looking forward to game two. Yeah. There's a there's a bit a hey, welcome in GG. Oh, wow. It was very well run. Uh, thank you. That so, was so when I... did you start to feel ahead? When did I start to feel ahead? I figured when the yeah, silk have... when the silk cave panned out, I figured this is good. All right. I mean you were you were very much ahead right up until um right up until the Z wipe. Like you were Yeah you were a little ahead going into Zeromus and then Things went a little sideways. Like you, also fire three, fire three reflex strats. That was enthralling. I guess it was hybrid strats, but you were casting fire three, and I was enthralled. No, I didn't have time. I figured to get them up to nuke because you know, you figure I'll forego grind. The giants got experience. What could possibly go wrong? Well, the only two bosses you're not gonna get a whole lot of experience off of, maybe. Yeah, and boy, did they do a number. <laughs> it's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Very well played. I mean, the the hook route was a was a big inflection point for both of you. Um, you did infinitely better on the ruby fight, which you'll probably when you watch it back, you will see exactly what how that went sideways. Um, to the, the rescue in that case. Do, so the call to do silk first. That yeah. was the big question I had. Is you had forge in your hand. And yet you still pulled the hard left and went straight into self. Well, what, what was the idea behind that? I was hoping Pyre wouldn't do it anytime soon. And okay. I, might, I might be able to pull out ahead with that. That's that's what we figured was, okay, well, eh, so you got to do something a little different against someone the caliber of Pyre. And uh, yeah, boy, did it pay off though. Wow. And it was go mode at about one hour mark. I figured... He's typically don't go quite that fast. So it's like go to the giant. It's like, oh, it's young. That can't be too bad. Just have Cecil. Oh, yeah. You got to wait for the like, actually get to the kick part. And it's like, Ugh. <laughs> uh. ah, sometimes they break that way, though. So it's, um, I have a feeling I imagine Pyre probably ran into the same problem, though, with the gold does and, and such. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, he ended up 50 50 in it and got lucky. I appreciate you having no faith in that 50-50, though. Like, resetting back <laughs> once it got down to characters you weren't proud of and doing it again, precisely what you needed to do. Pres like, yeah. that was a very good play in that circumstance. Yeah. I figured if Cecil survives, I'll leave it up. If he doesn't, no. Okay. Yeah. They knew the bringer was going to just murder Golbez if he was able to stay up, but... You know, that it is what it goes. Uh-huh. So... Game two, we were told is tomorrow. It is. Uh, what changes? Anything? Do you, do you feel like you played? I I mean, watching it from this side, you played really well. Yeah, well I mean, I, I had a chance, which yeah. is all you can ask for sometimes. I mean, rando gonna rando. I don't yep. usually wipe to Z. I'll go figure. I took two wipes tonight, which is probably two more than the entire rest of the tournament, I think. So what are you going to do? Clean it up in game two and give us a game three. 
I well, we'll see how the, we'll see how we'll see how the seed rolls uh, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Not that we want you to give this. away anything to Pyre, but uh, like is j just the feel of it is like are are we, are we going to see uh, traps in the future again? Or are we going are we going to go a different route for game two? It's well, the same mod this? for all three. Oh, is it? Yeah, we're we're stuck with this for the next okay, two. Okay, so you're locked in. Okay, so perfect. Yeah. Okay, I'm excellent. I'm actually kind of pleased I got this because I figured against Pyro, it's like out of the five options we have, I figured this is my best chance to get divergence and maybe get lucky. Mm -hmm. And I got the lucky part. I just didn't get the execution part quite right. Oh, well. Yeah. You'll get it next time. I believe in you. Yep. I certainly hope so. It sounds like I ran pretty much good except for the last, you know, last fight <laughs> well, honestly, yeah, yeah. You, honestly like, exactly z like the go when you watch it back you'll like there was a good i'd say five minutes you were plus five minutes getting underground and then still paid off and it was like oh you're just off to the races at that point yeah because i realized that that's go and you know i got mm -hmm. stoned just as i got into uh fame march was like well that's that's easy mm -hmm. easy mode and Okay, uh, that's dark as. Oh shoot, that that that's <laughs> off to the races we go. Yeah, I, I think you know it's like I figured. I grind, should I not grind? If I've chosen to grind, it's like yeah, it might have taken a couple minutes, but maybe that then avoids the problems I had with everything else. But who knows? Mm -hmm. I yeah, figured, possibly. Um, I figured I could get away with like, it, I, and it turned out not. I don't know if it crossed your mind too, but uh, something Pyre did at the end because Pyre went more or less power couple ish uh <laughs> with Paul Rom. Uh sold the farm and bought apples out of the pork shop. Yeah, I knew that there were apples there. I just didn't think to go back to try and uh load up on them. I realized I probably could have, but mm -hmm. I thought I thought with uh, enough silk uh silk uh star veils I could get through it and you know with cure threes I figured I'd probably get her to survive with some uh some nerfing and uh yeah oh well <laughs> yeah sometimes they break that way so but hey we'll let you get out of here uh game two under 24 hours from now i'm looking forward to it eight o'clock tomorrow so yeah yeah it's gonna be a all good right time. have a good night all right take care mm -hmm. scar we made it we did we're at the end Dang. of the broadcast end of a Wait, end of a very on. good race a tight race we're not on RPG limit break, right? No. Okay, good. That was a hell of a race. That was wow. a hell of a race. I, I'd say I'm excited for more, but uh, we, we don't exactly have any more tonight. We have to wait till yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, it starts back up again tomorrow. Um, yeah. There's John Burkhead versus Matic. There's Garen versus Pyre. Uh, there might even be an M C sixteen race. I haven't been keeping too close an eye on that, but those are good races, good you know, mm -hmm. closely matched races. It's gonna be a good time tomorrow. Yeah, oh, it usually is. Fridays I've... are usually a good day. Yeah, yeah. So once again, go follow the runners. Go, go follow Garen. Go follow Pyre. Go follow Scar. Follow Mark. They follow sure. Radio Caller and Tybalt. Like these are great folks. They, they are they are they are all excellent um the discord link is there if you want to know when because as far as i know they haven't drawn restream for tomorrow yet so nope, do you want to know what races job. are going on where tomorrow discord's the right way to find out and you can get cheater links for Kagar for races like beauty and soapbox gamer going on right now so yeah discord is a valuable tool But yeah, get out of here. Go enjoy the rest of your... Wait, it was today. Thursday? Thursday. Yeah, it is Thursday. Yeah, go enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening. Go get food. I went an entire stream and I didn't bring up food. Wow. I guess apples are kind of food. Apples are food. Yeah. Stupid bard. Should have never gotten an apple. I mean, good night. <laughs> good night, folks. <laughs>